I'm Kristen. And I'm Brooke. And this is Mornings, Mornings with, with Riddle. Riddle. Brooke, I know the summer is now behind us, sadly, mm -hmm. but we are truly rolling into some really busy months here at Riddle Village. I know we touched base on that a little bit mm -hmm. in our last show, um, but October's calendar was just released, and I know you can't see it too closely, so maybe I'll have you do a <laughs> shot on the thing. Um, we are jam-packed. There's so much fun going on this month. I mean... Uh, just at a glance, so we thought we would take an opportunity in this episode to just talk about, you know, there's so much for everyone to do here, and mm -hmm. we always stress you can be as relaxed as you want to be or as involved as you want to be in our community, mm -hmm. but just a few things we'll go over. You can see that there's truly something for everyone, there and is, yeah. a lot of these things, I mean, there are a few things that you may have to reserve ahead of time um, that we'll, we'll talk about a little bit, mm -hmm. um, but some of the other things you just can simply show up for spectate if you don't want to be involved or just enjoy yeah um let's start i mean we'll just go right to it next week is the um the annual fall riddle village theater group dinner show yes that's going to be so fun um that's something that reservations are required for because Correct. i think this is like a sold out type thing it's, it's already sold out it's we were told it's yeah, sold out. okay yes. it's usually a packed house um yep. that kicks off at five in the town hall and that's the the Riddle Village non traveling theater troupe who I love that name. Uh, it's so good. It's so clever, <laughs> yeah. and they just they crush every single show. I've seen them do yep. mystery comedy. It's always fun, and just to add in that element of a dinner theater is so that's something you don't get here every day at Riddle Village, and it's just like a fun little addition. And just to keep in mind, if you didn't get tickets for the dinner theater, they are doing a matinee show um, the next day at one thirty, so on the ninth. Um, and they'll also uh, open that up to residents, uh, you know, throughout the community to come and join. So that'll be really, really fun. Mm -hmm. um, and then as we continue rolling, um, you'll see another big thing. Um, Calvin Presley is always a big name here at our community. Mm -hmm. So he, he DJ'd and emceed our fall carnival. And he is back on the 14th for a fall dance. I here saw in the town that. Hall. I was so excited. So get ready, residents. That is going to be fun. He plays some really fun music. Mm -hmm. It's easy to dance to. And yeah. he just knows how to put on a really good time. He was such a hit at the uh, outdoor fall festival. He got everyone dancing. was so much fun on the mic. Um, so, yeah, that was – he's welcome back anytime. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then the putting green. So I know we're starting to get in the – cooler months and it is the perfect time to get out on the putting green so yes. you know obviously throughout the day the weekends you can utilize that as as you want the equipment's out there but there are two events happening on the putting green this month that you should be aware of so one is the president's cup putting tournament which mm -hmm. is always really fun um they invite all the residents that want to participate in that so that's going to be on the ninth but then they do putting under the stars yes putting under the stars um that has been They've been doing that a few years here. It's a hit every time I come in for it. And it's just so fun because it's a little bit like more cozier than the summer putting tournaments where it's so hot. Everyone, you want to be in the shade. Yep. Putting under the stars, the courtyard's all lit up. And it's just, it's a really fun time. And little pro tip, if you go up to the Garden Terrace Cafe, so this starts at 7, go up there around 6.45 where we have the free coffee, tea, hot chocolate. Yep. Get yourself a little to-go cup of that, and then you can go down, and if you're not participating, at least sit on one of the benches and enjoy. So that'll be a really, really fun one. Yep. Um, and then I also wanted to touch base on, and this is, this one's like a crowd favorite, is the Riddle Village uh, talent show. Oh, that's so much yep. fun. Everyone really goes all out for this. They do. Yeah. You never know what these residents, what their talents are. Um, I think there's some musicians here. I think one year someone did stand-up comedy. It's it's a whole array of things when they take that stage. Yeah, and I think it's kind of fun because sometimes you're surprised. You may have a neighbor you've known for years, and then they come out and do a talent you had no idea about. So it's it's kind of fun mm -hmm. fun to do that. Um, yeah. I, I mean, we could go on and on. There's so many different things here. I'm just kind of like glancing and grabbing some things out. So yeah. please don't think if I'm not mentioning something that it's not important or it's not exciting. Yeah. Um, but then we have to talk about probably the best wine and cheese of the year. My but, favorite one. And truly, I think what makes it the best is the participation. Yes. And our residents, some of them go all out for the 
annual Halloween wine and cheese, which this year will be held. Um, usually they're on Wednesdays, mm -hmm. but on, when, when it can be, it's on the actual Halloween date. So Thursday, October 31st, get ready to see your neighbors get creative. It is a fun night. Yeah, and this is one of those things. At this wine and cheese, they do a costume, costume parade. So you'll see everyone walking around in their costumes. But what's fun about this, um, it's one of those things we talked about that where you can be as relaxed or involved as you want. If you want to just come show up, mingle, get some food, you know, have some fun, that's absolutely fine. Yep. If you want to dress up in costume, go all out. Please that's, do. Yeah, that's <laughs> encouraged too. Yep. Um, so we love seeing everyone come out getting into the spirit and that like we said is just one of those things where that day if you look at the calendar and there's the wine and cheese you can just stop by and stay as long as you want yeah and then of course if you're glancing at the calendar there's going to be some things that are always occurring mm -hmm. um like they've now for the past several months every other sunday they have a basically an ice cream social in the garden terrace so that's really fun yeah um the live entertainment continues to happen um so Definitely take a moment to grab one of these calendars in October, um, highlight the things you want to attend, but this is this is a big month. We're really excited. Yeah, so. it's jam-packed, and we'll be there taking pictures and reporting back on all the fun. And sure will. You guys will see it all. Right, so either on Mornings with Riddle, or also don't forget to follow us on social media, because there's always so much going on. We may not always be able to capture it with our weekly show, but Brooke does a great job about putting it on social media like Facebook, Instagram. So we capture as many pictures as we can. So stay tuned because this month's going to be very, very heavily filled with pictures <laughs> I on social wait. media. I can't wait. All right. Well, we look forward to coming to you guys next week with all things, everything, Riddle, Riddle Village. Village. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.